The award-winning French film The Untouchables is based on a true story of a wealthy quadriplegic man who hires a tough, inexperienced guy from the mean streets to be his caregiver. From looking at the poster or watching the trailer, you'd probably guess that The Untouchables is yet another shameful entry in what has become known as the magic negro genre, which includes films like The Legend of Bagger Vance, The Green Mile, and of course Driving Miss Daisy. In these films, benevolent, relatively personality-free black people materialize to solve all the problems of a white person in need, sometimes using Using actual magic, while teaching the hapless Caucasian what life is really about, which often involves dancing. Francois Cluzet plays Philippe, who was paralyzed in a hang gliding accident and now lives in a Parisian mansion attended by nervous servants. While interviewing new caregivers, Philippe meets Driss, a young Senegalese man played by Omar Sy, who's only applying for the job so he can get his unemployment check. Impressed by Driss's bluntness and lack of sympathy, Philippe hires Driss and moves him into his mansion, where Driss reluctantly learns his duties from the housemistress, played by Anne Lenny, and Philippe's assistant, played by Audrey Fleureau, who Driss hits on relentlessly. What keeps the Untouchables out of Magic Negro territory is the fact that Driss is really not there to solve Philippe's problems. The job is, at first, simply a matter of convenience since Driss has just been kicked out of his home in the Paris projects. And with his lack of caregiving experience, he objects to a lot of the duties he's assigned to do. His advice to Philippe about loosening up, which includes getting Philippe to smoke pot, be more forward with a woman he's been exchanging love letters with, and to use Philippe's sports car instead of a more wheelchair-friendly van, is more based on the fact that Driss is a young guy, not from any profound wisdom. And, as mentioned before, Driss is a fully realized character who gets equal screen time with Philippe as we learn about Driss's tense family life and his efforts to keep one of his siblings out of trouble with a gang. And while Driss does help Philippe embrace life beyond his disability, including a scene where Driss does get uptight white people at Philippe's birthday party to boogie down to earth, wind, and fire, it's not a one-way exchange. Through working with and spending time with Philippe, Driss surprises himself by becoming a much more caring and responsible person, realizing that there's a bigger world out there and that he has a lot more potential beyond hanging out with his friends and smoking weed. But in the end, The Untouchables is a funny, smart, intimate, and genuine story of an unlikely but beautiful friendship, with terrific performances by Sai, Cluzet, and all the supporting cast. And on a personal note, The Untouchables really touched me since I used to work as a caregiver, first for my grandparents and then for other senior citizens, and I know what an amazing relationship that can be. Caregiving tends to be a female-dominated profession, and one of the people I took care of was a man. After years of women taking care of him, I could tell he was relieved and grateful to finally have a guy he could talk to about his youthful exploits, and it was an honor and a privilege to be the last person he told those things before he died. The Untouchables is a wonderful film that you should definitely see, and since there's word that there's going to be an American remake of it, I recommend that you catch the original now in case the new version is yet another magic negro tale that you should rightfully avoid. I'm Jonathan Kim, and this is a Rethink Review.